And introducing his opponent, entering the ring, when you're wearing green trunks and gold trim, weighing in at 113.85 kilograms, hailing from Logan and soon to be a Canterbury Bulldog in 2022. He's trained by Chris McCullen at Logan Boxing Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, making his professional boxing debut. Please make some noise for Tavita. Pengai Junior! Fighters in the center of the ring for final instructions from your referee, Chris Condon. Let's run, boys. Let's rock and roll. Rock and roll, we will. He's a big man, is Cecil. Say that Pangai can fight. Yeah, I made a call to Pangai about trying to join the, the Bowman Tigers and my good mate there, Magic McGuire, told me to give him a call. Told me that he loved his boxing and we'll see today how, you know, how, we, how we proceed. The call didn't go too well then. He's gone no, to the Bulldogs. Yeah. I think the old Gus schools got a bit more power than me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if he can fight. So it is Tabita Pangai Jr. in the green and gold. And Jericho Cecil in the black, they're both on Boo. Cecil, a much bigger man, but Guy Jr. clearly in better condition. And watchful to start the pair of them. Knows how to throw a jab, does Pangai Jr. Cecil just stalking and watching. Cecil early looked like he had a, he knows what he's doing in there. You know, I mean, he hasn't been doing much, but yeah, he had a couple of a little bit of movement there with the head. Variety too, he looked for his shots, found his uppercut, and Pangai Jr. shook his head at it. Jabbing away to the body. And right hand from Cecil got through. Watch out of there. Watch out of there. Stop! Step back. Let's go. Box! Good right hand it was from Cecil in the opening rounds. And Guy wore it well. Jabbing to the body and quite well too is Panda. A little bit of a dangerous punch for those big guys that jab the body and bring that right hand over the top. You know, but like I said, and sometimes when I watch these footy plays, I think that they, they're trying, oh, that's a bit of a little jab, but they're trying to box too much. They just need to use that strength, you know, that, that, that conditioning and, and power. He's trying to show some skills, isn't he, Pango? I don't put a shot to the body, followed by a hook over the top, and Cecil didn't see them. Oh, a head in the air from Cecil was... And guy tossed out his right hand but missed him. Well, that was the power shot I was talking about earlier, but no, that missed. Cecil oh, covers up as Pangai oh, comes oh, and he hangs on. And it is Pangai working a lot harder. You'd expect that Cecil would be trying to throw some big shots here, but... Oh, he's just watching the whiz by him, and now he goes... Oh, oh, punch out of the goal. Don't hold, punch out of there. He just hangs on. Go for it, punch out of there. Go punch out of there. They're told to work from there, but... Punch out of there, don't hold. Now. Don't hold. Yeah, yeah, good referee for all these two big guys work. It's good to see. And guy talking to him now. He's trying to open him up, perhaps, and give himself some more opportunities. This is with a wild right hand and a left hook, but he gets through with his left uppercut. It was a good shot from Pango. Watch out of the boys, come on, come on. 30 seconds at uh, the start of the next round. Uh, uh, big fella friend of Cecil will uh, start uh, feeling, feeling the pinch. Yeah, he's not uh, the longevity in this ring tonight, I don't know. Your way or your list? He's not punching hard enough to get out of the ring again, so he's going to be in control. You're going for shots that ain't going to work early on. Yeah, behind the jab, behind the jab, look for the left hook, okay? When you get in there now, I want you to stay on the inside, sit yourself in, set the body, jab, walk, play around on the inside. Deep breath. Come on, two more. 
Lots of instructions for Bangai in the corner. Chris McCullen Wait, play for the leading bell. that corner and he slides back out. As Cecil starts to throw his shots now. Well, I think Penguin knew that Cecil would have really good in that round, so yeah, he'd, be, he'd be more than confident in the second round. But still, um, at that weight, 137 k's, you've got to be careful. Bro. Leading right in is Cecil now. Right over his front foot. He takes a couple of shots and the hands go down. He doesn't like it much. And Pangai Watch out, the boy. Don't hold. works until he's held. Yeah, he's there for the upper cup of Pangai. Tavita Pangai Jr. gets a stoppage victory in the second round of his professional boxing taboo. Good start, buddy. Good fight. Yeah, and he's very pleased with that. Yeah, he showed some boxing skill. He done a few good things. And uh, yeah, uh, his opponent wasn't much, Ben. But like I said, um, first fight. First fight. First win. Congratulations. And Paul Gallen, here we come. <laughs> well. Who knows, down the track, if he gets a few wins, he can find himself into the opposite corner against the likes of Paul Gallon for sure. Everybody wants team. Paul. Yeah. yeah. Look. They all get a shock when they read him up in. Yeah, he has continued to improve Paul Gallon, and we can't wait to see him again on the 22nd of December against Darcy Lassie. Just... Getting those gloves off to Vita Pangai Jr. And as they do so, we can head there and make this all official oh, day. <laughs> Final to the centre of the ring, please. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are number two on the card tonight. Proudly brought to you by Adidas Boxing. Was stopped by your referee, Chris Condon, in a time of one minute and four seconds into round number two. And your winner, by way of TKO, Tavita Pangai Jr.